Okay, take a moment, close your eyes, feel yourself sitting where you are, feet on the ground, back. And we're going to become a tree. We're going to grow our roots down. So see your roots growing out of your feet. See them going down through the floor. Feel the roots going through whatever is beneath the floor until it reaches the earth far beneath you. And as you reach the earth, push down through the cool soil, down around the rocks, down around the boulders far beneath you. And keep on pushing down until you reach the bedrock far, far below you. And as you reach the bedrock, spread your roots out and go searching for that pool of water deep beneath the earth. And when you at last find that water, dip your roots into it. We're going to slowly start sucking that water up into our bodies. So with each and every breath, see that water come rising, come rising up through your roots. And as you breathe in, these cool, crisp waters slowly come rising up, rising up into your feet and into your legs. Feel this cool water coming up through your legs. And feel it coming up into your loins. With each and every breath, bring the water further and further up until it's in your belly, into your chest. See yourself filling with these waters from below. Feel the cool waters moving throughout your body as you continue to bring them up and bring them up into your head. And keep on breathing and bring them up further until they come out of your head and out of your hands, flowing back into the earth. And just take a moment and feel these waters, waters of chaos, one of the powers of potential moving throughout your body out in through your feet and out through your head, flowing back into the earth. Now let's turn our attention up and grow branches out of our hands, and grow them up through the ceilings, up through the roofs above us and into the sky and push them up through the sky. If there are clouds above you, push them to the clouds and keep pushing the branches up further and further until you can find that one star directly above your head. And we're going to reach for that star. We're going to pull the fires from above, fires of water, yet another power of potential. We're going to reach up and pull those fires down and feel them coming into our hands with each and every breath. We pull the fires down further into our heads, into our chests. And as we breathe and pull them down further, we can see them mixing with the waters. As we bring it down to our bellies. We can see our chests and bellies glow with the waters from below and the fires from above. Keep pulling the fires down, pull them into your loins and into your legs. Till with your next breath, you finally pull them all the way down into your feet. Feel the waters coming from below and the fires coming from above. Feel the mix throughout your body, filling you with order and chaos. The raw powers of potential. Drink deeply of these powers. Fill yourself up with them. Take all that you need then take just a little bit more and when you're ready push the waters back down into the earth push the fires back up and into the sky and know if you ever need to reach these powers again you can always reach down you can always reach up but for now we've taken what we needed so disconnect and pull your roots in, pull your branches in, and take a deep breath in and out, in and out. And when you're ready, open your eyes, prepare for the ritual.
First, as always, we give to the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you surround us, you support us. You bring us food, you give us shelter. Without you, we could not survive for everything that you do for us, including all the sometimes nasty things like the weather. But for all that you do, we give you our thanks. We say, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the gods, the land spirits, and the ancestors. And we're here to ask for their blessings in return. But first, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty well. You run deep throughout the earth. You are found in the land of the underworld, of the dead. <sighs> to you, we offer you the silver. And we ask that you soon will be our gates to the underworlds. Sacred waters flow within us. Mighty fires, you burn, you transform. You send your offerings up high into the heavens, to the lands of the shining ones. To you, we offer this incense. We will ask that you soon be our gate to the heavens. We say sacred fires burn within us. The mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth to the wells far below in the lands of the ancestors. The branches run high and into the sky, to the realm of the shining ones. We will ask that you be our path between all the worlds. You say, sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow. And now in each and every one of our homes, by the might of the water, in the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water, in the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water, in the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. Next, we call to the gatekeepers. We call to all of them that have aided us in the past. We call to you once more to aid us as we do our works this evening. We call to you to guide us and guard us as we walk your paths. We call to you to take our messages far and wide and to bring back to us all that we need to hear. For all that we are going to ask of you, gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. And now, mighty gatekeepers, join your magic with ours in each and every home. Let the wells open as a gate to the underworlds. Let the fires open as gates to the upper worlds. And let the trees be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. In each and every one of our homes, let the gates be opened. <clears throat> and now let's call on the kindred to aid us tonight mighty ancestors you who are our family those who have walked this world before us we offer you welcome you who we have chosen as friends mentors inspiration our chosen family we offer you welcome. And to all of those in this very earth, you who are here before us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us at our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Accept our offerings. Next, we call to the land spirits. 
Dog you in fur feathers, scale and skin, our animal kin, we offer you welcome. To all of you of leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all of you of the unseen, our house spirits, our land spirits, and all of those other unseen spirits that are throughout our lives, we offer you welcome. Come and join us at our fires, land spirits, accept our offerings. And to the shining ones, the guys and goddesses of all the days, you who watch over each and every one of us, our matrons, our patrons, we offer you welcome. To all of you of this very place, you who are here before us, we offer you welcome. And to all of you who watch over us, whether you're known or unknown to us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. At this moment, if you have any offerings you wish to make of any kind, please feel free to make them. Watch over those who are going through natural disasters, be it the Bahamas from a week or two ago, be it Houston, what they're going through now once more, and anywhere else there is disasters. Watch over them, may they get through them. <sighs> there are no further offerings to be made Mighty kindred, we have given to you. We will give you give to you one last time. And with this, we ask that we get blessings in return. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred, we now ask what blessings do you receive? <laughs> the ancestors give us Othala. The root of home, inheritance, root of family. The last spirits give us Amos, the horse, the root of spiritual travel. And the shining ones give us Tewas, the ruin of right action, doing the correct thing no matter the consequences. I'm reading this as a message of just reminding you to be true to yourself, both physically and with your family and in all but also spiritually. Do what you need to do. I think that's a rather good reminder. It reminds me that I need to call my grandfather tomorrow for his 100th birthday. <laughs> Which is why I'm laughing at reading this. Uh, do we accept the song? We do. The ancient and mighty ones. We call to you once more. We ask that you fill our waters in each and every one of our homes, filled with the omens we have just heard, filled with, with Othala and, and the messages of family, filled with Aeolus and the messages of spiritual travel, the spiritual self, and filled with Tilas and the message of doing what you need to do. Behold the waters of life. Behold the waters of life.
And now, let's thank all of those who have aided us. Shining ones, be you unknown to us of this place or those that we work with. For all that you do for us, shining ones, we thank you. To the land spirits, be you unseen, be you plant, or be you animal. For all that you do for us, land spirits, we thank you. And to the ancestors, be you of this earth, be you chosen family, or be you our own families. For all that you have done for us, ancestors, we thank you. Yeah. And gatekeepers all, you have aided us once more. You have allowed us to get these messages back for all that you have done for us. We can only say, gatekeepers, we thank you. Now we ask you once more, join your magic with ours in each and every one of our homes, let the wells become but water, let the fires become but flames, let the tree become but a tree once more, let the gates be closed, let them be closed in each and every one of our homes. And last but not least, Earth Mother, you're always first in our thoughts, you're always last in our thoughts. For without you, we would not be here. And for all that you do for us, we say thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended.